Hundreds of thousands of Palestinians have headed towards the southern Gaza in recent days, heeding the warning from Israel of an impending ground invasion. The Rafa border in the south represents the only viable escape from Gaza and a lifeline to the outside world. The Rafa border is controlled by Egypt and is the only exit from Gaza that does not lead to Israeli territory. In response to Hamas attack earlier this month, Israel has imposed a total blockade of Gaza, cutting off electricity to the territory and stopping all supplies of food and fuel. That means the only likely route for humanitarian aid to enter Gaza is via Rafah from Egypt's Sinai region. Egyptian aid trucks have moved closer to the crossing, but it was unclear when or whether they will be able to cross into Gaza. Gazans with dual citizenship have also gathered at the border, hoping to be allowed through. Uh, I am a Norwegian citizen. Uh, I come every day to the uh, Rafah border. Uh, we hear from the, our embassy, they called us, and they told, told us to come to, to the border. Egypt is wary of insecurity near the border with Gaza in northeastern Sinai, where it faced an Islamist insurgency that peaked after 2013 and has now largely been suppressed. Since Hamas took control in Gaza in 2007, Egypt has helped enforce a blockade of the enclave, heavily restricting the flow of people and goods. In 2008, tens of thousands of Palestinians crossed into Sinai after Hamas blasted holes in border fortifications, prompting Egypt to build a stone and cement wall. Arab countries have deep-rooted fears that Israel's latest war with Hamas in Gaza could spark a new wave of permanent displacement from land where Palestinians want to build a state. For Arabs and Palestinians, current events have echoes of Nabka, or catastrophe, when many Palestinians were forced from their homes during the 1948 war that accompanied Israel's creation.